Howdy, 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 my beautiful Leo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Leo, for June, darling. All right, so if you enjoyed this tarot reading today, be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Leo, so we can have a full, complete understanding of what's going on in your life in specific by catering to what's in your chart. All right, darling, as well, if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Leo, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. All right, but enough of the babbling, darling. All right, let's get right into your tarot reading reading here today, Leo, and see what it is that you're currently dealing with. All right, darling. So <clears throat> y'all are dealing with something, honey, that's for sure. Magician energy, the devil, as well as the queen of pentacles. All right. Now, uh, Leo, I am the last person to be doing some type of fear mongering, darling. But in this dynamic here, <laughs> this is definitely someone um, doing some type of black magic on you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> to be kind of blunt here all right when you have this magician energy we're dealing with some type of archetype of a person who has uh not only is on some level spiritually practicing here all right but this is someone who is you know taking away the spiritual aspect of it someone who has this obsession with trying to control the people around them and the world around them it's like they cannot conceptualize an idea of where they are not the main character and that even continues to show with this queen of pentacles because you know the fabulousness with the queen of pentacles there's a lot to her but as well she can kind of come off as uh, self-centered if she's not coming from a balanced place obviously darling genders do not matter look at me all right so don't be typing in the comments uh here leo where you're just like mm, whatever whatever all right when you have this double energy coming in here complementing that magician energy as well this is where it's just like malintent this is where it's like them trying to make your life more difficult all right do some type of cleansing keep some type of evil eye on you darling they cannot have control over you remember the only time a curse or a hex is going to be successful on you is if you give that an energy or power that's 99 percent of curses darling all right because chances are if someone has some true capability darling they're not going to be wasting their time on something mundane darling they're going to be using that magic to elevate their life to something grandiose all right so just because you're dealing with some dusty energies darling doesn't mean they magically have some type of huge potent honey i mean that's just being blunt because it's like they have these magical powers why where's your hairline if you have all these magical powers why are you still living in a trailer park honey all right and nothing wrong i come from a trailer park darling okay trust and believe so i'm not saying anything bad about it but let's just call it spade a spade all right so i just want to really dispel that initial fear or anxiety some leos might have when it comes to this energy don't give this any energy they don't have any control over you um more so in a physical environment you might be noticing somebody in the uh in your physical environment that just doesn't want to let you go <laughs> i feel as if this is like somebody who has like continuously like you would give them the answer no and they continuously would push it it's almost as if like anything that you say any boundary that you push uh put place uh it goes through one ear and out to the other for them in their eyes they don't have like they probably don't even know how to spell boundary or have an understanding of what a boundary actually is here uh this is very much so someone who doesn't give up i feel like this is the type of person that will like like you block one number and they come back with a different number. You block them on social media. They start contacting people that you know. All right. So just be on the watch out for that here because you even have here the eight of swords. I feel as if their main intent behind this is trying to constrict you here, Leo, trying to make you feel bad about yourself, insecure even here. Uh, this sense of where it's like the sense where their main intent is to try to make you feel powerless so you don't go into any new energies, commit to any new things. All right some of you guys are dealing with a crazy ax i'm gonna be honest here it's like this idea where it's like they don't want to even conceptualize the idea leo that you start entertaining other people and so you might they might have seen something on social media that you've posted or just noticed that you have been moving on all right i wouldn't be posting about your dating life on social media or anything like that in that manner or just really what it is that you're doing currently here because this is very just obsessive controlling energy here so it's like if you're not seeing this energy right now don't be trying to trigger this here don't be posting you like keep your private life a little bit more private here all right because at the end of the day their their obsession towards you here 
leo king of pentacles it's like from their point of view they think that y'all are like soulmates they think that like like truly this is like honestly coming off as of some type of lifetime movie here where it's just like they've convinced themselves of this reality of how you guys are meant to be together they convince themselves of this reality where it's like any post that you make or anything that you do they think they're like they're somehow involved right you'll talk about how you have a fat you've had a fabulous day and then their brain they're gonna be like oh they had a fabulous day because they must have been thinking about me as much as i was thinking about them all right i'm gonna be honest here uh leo this is someone i don't you i don't like using the word narcissist or anything like that i feel like it's such an overused term personally but i do feel as if this person struggles with their mental health on some level here darling all right due to the fact of where it's just like they don't understand social cues they don't like it, it just it's, they don't the something there's a few screws that are just very loose darling they've been loose for a little, quite a long time they've gotten to the point where they've started to rust okay so enough enough of that heavy energy just keep your guard up all right protect yourself i this is this i don't feel like any type of threatening energy here all right this is all just like this is very much so right here leo this is chihuahua energy okay honey this is all just chihuahua energy and like most chihuahuas they might be barking honey but the moment you confront them they run the other way shaking <laughs> and screaming honey all right so don't pay this chihuahua any mind so leo let's take a look at uh, enough of that heavy energy darling let's not give that more energy than it deserves enough of that let's see what it is that you're manifesting let's see what's coming towards you other than that weirdo energy there all right so let's do one bridge shuffle here and let's take a look here darling let's see what's going on with you my beautiful leos <clears throat> All right, we have the Nine of Wands, the King of Wands, as well as the Queen of Cups coming in here. Okay. What I get for you guys right now, Leo, is that while, yes, you're dealing with this heavy energy over to the side, do not allow that energy to turn you off from being open to any type of new connections here, Leo. All right, because I do feel as if for you guys right now, you have a strong potential like this speaks about some type of relationship coming forward in your life here leo that could really help you out all right that could really help you out in some facet in your life that you might be struggling in with that nine of wands this wounded warrior i get like this sense of where well yes you are a fire sign and wands is fire energy here leo i kind of associate you currently as this queen of cups and whoever is wanting to help you as this king of wands here so you might be uh feeling like this person reminds a lot of you or some in some ways or it just it doesn't matter like we'll just go along with it here leo i feel like uh they see you leo in this place of where there's some facet in your life where they're just like i can help leo with that there's some like accept help at this time and i know this is going to be really challenging for you leo again just due to that weird lifetime <laughs> crazy person that's going on in your life right now don't just allow that to dissuade you from opening keeping yourself open to new connections because that's quite literally what this person's upset like what the other energy wants to accomplish is to stop you from engaging with any type of new energy because again they want you all to themselves there all right i get like this message where it's just like for some of you guys like you already tried to make it work with them before and it's just like just give it up all right now going back to this energy here i feel like they want to help elevate you in some way confirming that with the eight of pentacles here coming in after the fact as well as the nine of swords you might be manifesting some type of mentor here uh leo someone that shares a similar passion with you and whether this is in the career environment if this is i see strong potential in like your boss taking you then you under their wing in hopes of a promotion right when you think about the eight of pentacles and the majority though leo i feel like you're going to be manifesting somebody that like <sighs> It's like, let's just say for, I always say as like an analogy where it's just like you want to start your own business, but maybe there's like logistic wise or just something, there's something that has intimidated you in starting that and pursuing that. It's almost as if this King of Wands is placed in your path here to help uh, supplement for where it is that you are lacking. 
all right i really get like this strong like mentorship this energy leo of where it's just like they come in and they're kind of like prince or princess charming in this way being like i don't you know romantic or not i feel like uh this is more so just the focus of where it's just like how they elevate your energy here and they just really release a lot of the anxieties that you're feeling here all right and so what i want to be asking you here leo is that are you keeping an open mind are you being too much of a lone wolf i know in our previous weekly reading here leo all right i was a little bit hard on y'all so uh <laughs> just continue working on that and you do have help coming in here this is a very valuable energy that's uh, is stepping forward here all right so let's see if there's any other energy that we can tap into with this person five as well as the three of wands and then the ace of swords coming in here so this is very much so someone who has like a pretty good idea it's like for you leo they see you and they're just like they see the complications that they're going you're going through and then they come in with this really good idea for you to pursue and by going down this and i feel like it's a new path for you here but by listening to them heeding their words right because it does sure serve to be like like i want to say mentor if they if i didn't feel like they had any if they lacked any substance like they do have some intelligence to them by heeding guidance from this type of new energy here uh it can really elevate your life all right the three of wands is the card of uh it's not only known as the card of collaborations with new energies but it also lets you know uh leo to start considering new avenues things that could really drastically shift things in your life all right uh, have, be expecting some really good idea business ideas be expecting some really good ideas that you may not have considered prior that would really change things up for you and to really remove a lot of the burdens or the complications that you have been going through all right so allow this energy to help even though you're dealing with that crazy energy over on the side darling all right leo so that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you darling leo hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you if you did let me know in the comments below be sure if you want to book a private reading with me i only do my readings leo on my website simply velka dot com all right darling be sure to follow my social medias tiktok and instagram simply velka same as here darling and leo i'll be connecting with you sometime in the near future darling all right bye my love